Good afternoon, this is Mrs. Hall, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an artist named Yaakov Agam. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, um, but he does something called kinetic art. If my slide will work, there you go. What is kinetic art? A kinetic art is a type of art that stresses change and movement. So the focus, really remember that with movement. Agam's art focuses on movement and how it changes in relation to a viewer's position. Each work is never wholly visible. So that's really unique. Each work is never completely visible. So you can never see all sides of it at the same time. Here is two videos that I want you guys to watch um, about his work. So here is one of them. I'll pull this up a little bit. But I would like to share with you an experience and this is visual music it plays in front of the eye a team i don't know what you see the center point is only black and white and then black and white opens and gets inside another melody and become rich and rich and rich and it fill up from minimalism to maximalism this is my heart time is something by definition that you cannot repeat nobody can repeat time so every time you touch it something new will come so this was the studio of Paul Gauguin and uh, so you are in a historical place in some out. Could you see the song? All right, so that was one of the videos. I thought that was really cool. And there's nothing that I could say um, that would have shown like more than what this video did. So I want to show you this real quickly, too. This is some of his work in an actual gallery. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to play. I probably should have hit play before I did that. I'll go ahead and put play. There we go. <laughs> Yes. I understand that Agam has got a lot to do with Judaism. Where do you see it in his work? Well, uh, Judaism, for example, you don't show the human face. So, uh, artists who were close to that went to abstract, to deal with art with abstract shapes. This is just one aspect of it. But the other aspects are this research for to see the invisible behind the visible, which is the same idea, in matter of fact. You don't show the man, you show his spirit. I will tell you, they were at the beginning of the 20th century uh, there were a few artists who did a few works 
as an experimental work. Uh, most famous, uh, Duchamp and uh, some others. But Agam was the first, the beginning of the 50s of the last century, to create really a style in art which is recognizable as an Agam style, a work of Agam that you can recognize. So it is a big difference between having just an idea of how we can use movement and the fact that it becomes the central essence of your art. So everything you are doing is a part in one way or in another connected with movement. It must not be only like this. It can be with water and fire. It can be with uh, many with uh, wind. It can be with many other elements. Okay. So he actually showed one of the images that I wanted to show here. Um, this is like a huge fountain. It's called Fire and Water Fountain in Tel Aviv. And it is in Israel. And it's really cool because it does have fire and water together. I would love to be able to see this in real life. Don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's cool. Um, so you can see a little bit up close of the water. I saw the fire better in the other one. This is called the Star of Hope. And again, it looks kind of funny because it's meant to be viewed from the left, then the right, then the front, and it's all different. So his work is just, it's all about movement and time, which I think is so amazing. And this is the gallery that it was in, in case you're interested. All right, that is about... Agam.